All right, so we're talking about the Mini Cooper today. Uh, this is an all wheel drive converted uh, with a 4G 6.3 uh, engine, also turbocharged um, that I've been using in some uh, light rally racing um, here in Florida. So uh, what we're gonna go over now is the drive by wire uh, conversion that we did on the car. So stock, these comes with, uh, come with drive by wire. What I did uh, when I did the engine swap was convert it to cable. And then I actually converted that back because it didn't really feel right uh, with some of the, the geometry, the angles of how the cable wiring had to go in order for it to work. So uh, because of that change, uh, it now feels way better. Um, so let's kind of get into that install a little bit uh, and show what that kind of looks like here in the car. All right, so the first thing, we've got the uh, electric pedal uh, that's installed there. Um, again, same stock location. We just tied into some of the wiring um, in order to uh, get our signals. Uh, we also do have the wiring um, tied into the ECU as well. Uh, we've got our DBW1 here module. Um, it does come with a nice kind of ECU type uh, connector. So let me a little more. Come on, I know you're not a lefty. There we go. Um, so you could take it with you if you wanted. Um, you know, anti-theft or something, but it is uh, aluminum housing. Um, it's got bolt holes on it, so you can bolt it to wherever you need. Um, so that is quite handy. Um, right now I have it just under the seat um, for testing and all that kind of stuff. And then I uh, zip tie mount it um, under the seat when I'm uh, rally racing, so it's not bouncing all over the place but very simple wiring. Here's the wiring diagram up on the screen, um, which shows you how this connects and ties into the pedal and then how that ties into the, uh, uh, the throttle body in the engine bay, which we'll hop to here in a sec. <laughs> Again, please mind the dirt <laughs> coming off a rally and uh, haven't washed it yet. Um, so this is the, uh, in this case, it's a Lancer throttle body. Um, so it's, uh, coming off of another, uh, I think 4B11, um, but it's, uh, actually a Gallant. Um, and so it's 63 millimeter, uh, throttle body, a little bit shorter than the, uh, OEM one that was on here. So I did have to change some bolts around and things like that. Um, there is a connector back here and that connector, um, is a six pin connector, uh, and so it's got kind of your motor positive, your motor negative to open and also to close that, um, as well as a couple of sensors. <clears throat> now the sensors usually have two different styles of opening. Uh, there is the kind of uh, one of the percent sensors that actually goes all the way from zero uh, to 100% wide open. And then there's also another sensor that maxes out at about 80%. So if you're trying to do some wiring and you're figure, trying to figure out why it's not fully opening all the way, um, do check that. Uh, because that does occasionally uh, get screwy. Some other features, uh, so I mentioned kind of the wiring here on the throttle body side. Um, I mentioned a little bit the wiring on the inside. Uh, some of the things that this kind of, in terms of how it operates. So this essentially mimics the throttle uh, of a cable driven throttle in the same level of functionality. So what ends up happening is uh, basically again, you put 50% throttle, it gives you 50% throttle. Doesn't care about traction control, doesn't care about anything else. Um, that's just the way that it operates. What you can do is you can set sort of the wide open throttle point. Um, and again, you set the kind of close point. Um, you can specify kind of a standard idle position. So that idle position will be maybe like 5%, 3%, 6%, whatever it kind of comes out to um, that gets you sort of a good base level idle. You set that, that'll be when you start the car, that'll be your idle position that you have set up. Um, for myself, I have it relatively closed so that if the uh, idle valve itself um, doesn't have to work on full duty to keep it idling, it's kind of just a little bit uh, kind of touch here and there. That's that's the main setup of it. Um, there's also like an AC connector switch. So if you do have your AC come on, um, you can set that up to bump that up kind of like a high idle. Uh, and that'll allow for you to get a um, essentially just a couple of maybe extra percent or so um, to get a high idle going. You could use it for a bunch of different stuff, kind of more custom and creative uh, besides that, but um, 
that's really the intended functionality. There's also a safety switch that needs to be wired in. You could technically just loop it without using the safety switch aspect of it. Um, it doesn't need to be a normally closed switch. Uh, and then you open it in case there's a problem, right? So instead of having a wide open throttle sticking situation, you can press that, it'll slam the throttle shut um, and just eliminate a source of air. Um, can mount it right on the dash if you want. <laughs> um, obviously this is a rally, daily, sleeper kind of setup. So um, it's a little bit more of a, a different purpose than a kind of full built purpose built rally car. It is very, very simple and straightforward. You just uh, kind of plug in the module. There is a USB connector um, that is under the seat. Let me grab that real quick. Uh, let's see, I think I have it. It's partially tied down. Uh, so there's this USB connector. And again, that's just gonna be for your programming. Um, once you're done programming, you don't need it anymore, technically speaking. Um, I'm gonna keep it just in case. I don't know if I'm gonna change throttle bodies at some point uh, or anything like that that may require other changes. Uh, so, as I mentioned, super straightforward, very um, kind of easy wiring. You can probably do the wiring on a bench test. You could do the wiring in maybe 15 minutes. Um, but if you're not, uh, if you're doing it in the car, right, I had to kind of pull wires through the cowl, pass through for the OEM harness. So I pull wires through there, up from the floor, um, kind of across through the loom here, and then got some kind of looming stuff there uh, and then up into the uh, the throttle body so there's that um, I did do a custom sort of sensor uh, I did do a custom controller before um, and that kind of worked a little bit um, it wasn't super consistent wasn't super um, stable so it kind of twitched a little bit made a lot of motor noise and whine and all that I did make that change here so here's what it sounded like before kind of how it operated before And you can see that it's a bit noisy, a bit less refined, technically works, but a little ghetto, right? So this module cleans it up, makes it super professional for less than 200 bucks. Seemed like an easy, easy decision to, to try and make. Um, and uh, it worked well with the standalone ECU. Obviously, if you're doing a swap and doing a cable throttle, the car doesn't need to really know or the engine management system doesn't really need to know that you have a cable throttle or an electric throttle. Either way, still works. So it also has the the uh, TPS out so that way it can report your throttle position sensor to your ECU. When I do the LS swap on the Genesis, uh, I will be uh, doing the same strategy with the throttle pedal, um, keeping it electronic, mainly because it's kind of in the OEM location. It feels right, feels perfect. I've been driving the car for 10 years, uh, NA and turbo, um, and it just feels right that way right uh, it's hard to just then switch to a cable and it just feels different in the car so um that's what i'll do with that i've got the ls engine in the garage um along with another car the miata that is it close this up and uh call it a day thanks for watching subscribing liking and commenting on my videos that's a great way to help support the channel. If you want to crank your support up a notch, consider becoming a patron over on Patreon. You get early access to videos and you get to have your name immortalized here in the video and I hope that you consider joining them. All right, thanks for watching the video everybody. Make sure to stay safe and be healthy and of course, keep modding your cars.